Hello, in this video we will understand about the Shimu projection forming in the yeast. So the, what is the Shimu projection we will discuss in this video. So the yeast is the unicellular fungal organism during asexual reproduction but of by Shimu projection like others but the, it is occur in the sexual reproduction not uh, asexual reproduction sometime. So the unicellular eugreots it is. And yeast is anaerobically used for ferm fermentation of alcohol from the glucose. So remember the sexual reproduction is involving for the shimu projection mostly but not uh, asexual repro reproduction so you can correct that. So whenever the mating factor will bind with the yeast during the unfavorable condition for the asexual reproduction while the favorable condition for the sexual reproduction and in this way the mating factor will bind if the unfavorable uh, for the reproduction sexually it will mitosis to produce a asexual reproduction to a cell division normally is known as the asexual reproduction uh, cell division but the during the conjugation like structure uh, arise during the favorable for reproduction sexually it will basically due to the uh, shimu projection so the shimu projection is and uh, due to the name is so because the cartoon is the shimu remember so the structure is same like so the conjugation and the uh, meiosis will occur will lead to uh, diploid convert into the haploid and otherwise also the nucleolus can be transferred so that's different condition for the different species of the yeast exchange DNA material after the uh, meiosis to haploid produce and fusion again to form a recombinant yeast that is why the recombinant genome uh, is used for the adaptation survival and recombinant to complete variation in genes so this is the bigger structure is the exocytosis and the basically you can understand this is the unicellular eukaryotic yeast which that is contain nucleolus nucleus and this is the black a circle is the shared polarization machinery actin corti cortical patch and polar polarisome and endocytosis for the hot spot are present and the spindle pole body are present arise from this so this is the anatomical aspect we are understanding so just here is and next we will understand about the cellular pathway the signaling pathway how it is work so anyhow this is the uh, uh, vesicular trafficking uh, and microtubules so the vesicle will traffic to the uh, for exocytosis the, uh, of the genetic material to transfer another individual so the positive and negative individual you can suppose that so here you can see the uh, g protein copper receptor the cellular pathway in this way the mating factor activate the receptor number one thing and after this mating factor pheromones will bind and in this way the bind to recruit that yeast toward the mating partner after this ATP used to convert ADP in the G couple protein receptor trimeric to activate the alpha GDP into the GTP alpha will lead to cascade of phosphorylation to activate the fuse 3 protein into the fuse 3 phosphorylated in this is the phosphorylated and uh, the by phosphorylation the number step 3 is the phosphorylation cascade um, acti ac uh, cascade uh, activates the fuse 3 which moves to plasma membrane anyhow this is basically go and in this way it will be fuse 3 will activate the formin formin protein into the phosphorylation so the step 4 is basically fuse 3 phosphorylates formin activating it after this activating this formin is the basic function for the shimu projection so remember that things and in this way you can understand in this way the basically step 5 is the formin uh, initiates growth of microfilaments that form the shimu projection 
So this is the CMU projection is the microfilament are present in this way. So in this way you can understand that is the formation of the um, basically you can learn about that these things. So this the actin subunit will be bind further and the forming protein will again and again bind in the actin subunit and in this way the chain of the phosphorylation will occur will lead to uh, such uh, out projection is the shimu projection for sexual reproduction in this way the 2n uh, double dna the hapla uh, diploid dna will convert into the haploid dna a recombinant during the meiosis and in this way the formin we basically is uh, used to transfer of the gene to another individual so the sexual reproduction produces the variety of yeast recombinant for food varieties in food industries so that is why the yeast is very important for the alcohol fermentation and on the other hand there is a lot of things which that is a uh, food product related thanks for watching if you have uh, if you like this video please make sure to subscribe like and share and ask ask the question in the comment below for understanding better and please make sure to subscribe like and share bye see you in the next video bye